I, I, well, I'll make some decisions here. The boys did a, a Tradio call that goes five minutes long. Wow. But I think it's worth I, I enjoyed it's listening an to epic. it. Waiting for your calls, and we trust you're enjoying another Tradio. <laughs> it's not quite Tradio, though. It's called Biz Boz. Whatever that is. I think is. it's called Bizarre Bizarre Flea Market, but they... but. If you're a fan, you call it BizBoz. Because <laughs> they have, you know, these shows have their own lingo. Yeah. I don't even understand these shows. I've been in radio for years, and this is a new phenomenon to me. I mean, I guess guys do this stuff. It's it's basically a swap and shop where you call in and you say, I've got a radio to sell. And then someone calls in and goes, hey, can I buy that radio? And I'm not even sure how the or radio. I have something to trade. Yeah, I'm not even sure how the <laughs> radio station makes money. Maybe they would get the VIG. I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of fee involved for selling over the uh, trading. Like advertising or no? I don't know. It's weird. This is called Bizarre Bizarre. And the boys, uh, this is their <laughs> this is their Sergeant Peppers. First they call in, they have Riley call in. Then they have Scott the Engineer call in. <laughs> then Joe Frazier calls in. Yeah. Then they have then they call in. And then at one point. I guess you can go on a website. So Sal calls up and asks for an item. But the guy figures out, because Sal planted an item on their website that was dirty. Uh. Cl Cleveland Steamer. So, I mean, they, they, it's just relentless. But these hosts, they're they're kind of like a morning zoo. They're not even like that other guy, the deep voice guy. Oh, yeah? I like him the best. Another day on Treaty. But anyway, worth listening to. Here it is, the boys pranking endlessly for five minutes and 32 seconds. Uh, welcome back to Bizarre Bizarre and Flea Market. If you have anything to buy, sell, or trade, and you're on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 I mean, shout out, uh, shout out here uh, to uh, uh, Andre, Vivian, uh, his lovely mom, Vivian, Lakeisha Barnes, down in Tarver, North Carolina, the great Ken Ahotia, and Elena, Elena Grace Francia in Reno, Nevada, Tom Hoffman, and his little dog, Ember, in Chantilly, Virginia, uh, Jeff and Patty Knutson, out in Reno, Nevada, and his lovely mom, Grace, down in Virginia, the Genesis in Qualicum Beach, Canada, Dave Wolf and Nick Good, that wrote a book called Amazing Grace. Uh, in which I mentioned prominently, uh, go I mean, to go on uh, success. We gotta go. Book. <laughs> I mean, I was—I didn't want to do that. I was. Mad. They even have like sound effects and music going. Yeah, listen to this. They put some effort into it. All right, so so far Riley has called in. <laughs> they talked all over him. My favorite thing is when Riley goes, and his little dog Ember. <laughs> Mesmerized, Me like too. I was looking into Medusa's eyes. But I know. I, I couldn't. I couldn't look away. I. Uh, it's just. We've got a responsibility here. <laughs> Holy cow! Bizbaz, hello. <laughs> Bizbaz. Hey, good morning. How are you today? Good. How are you? Very good. Hey, uh, I'm on the road right now. My wife has been looking for a vacuum, and she just left as well. She wanted me to give you a buzz. Is there one online available? We're pulling it up as we speak. What's your name? My name is Jerry. Jerry, let's see if we can find one vacuum. Saltwater clownfish. Chocolate maker, tire jack, vacuum for sale. Oh, great. One, uh, this is a, no, this is a joke. What are you talking about? It's it's a dirty joke that I have to uh, oh, delete. Oh, shoot. I what does to, it say? I'm not going to repeat it. Is it ugly? It's very ugly, yes. Oh, my gosh. So oh, I now have man. That. So, no, that was a uh, joke. Somebody you said it was made by Cleveland. <laughs> Cleveland Steamer. Nah, that's okay. Somebody's a clown. All right. <laughs> Just keep in mind, we do have caller ID. So, uh -oh. you know, come what on. Caller, you know what that we're means. The police, us? the police. You're going to be in jail with Captain Jenks. <laughs> that means we're going to come over there and put you in jail. Yeah, for right. 50 years. <laughs> and now, well, I have your email as well, because you put your email into the ad. You big dummy. All righty. Biz Baz, good morning. Ten minutes times ten cigarettes. How long is it? Ten minutes times ten cigarettes is an hour. Every time they have a cigarette, it's ten minutes. Oh, then it's um, a ten. Uh, uh, t it's an hour what and twenty is minutes. Wrong with, what is going on today? Is there I have a no idea. Or, I have no idea. Or, or something? What is something in the water? Biz bass. Good morning. How you doing? Good. Fine. Five piece Yamaha drum kit. Uh, okay. About six years old, two hundred and fifty dollars for that. All right. uh, also have a uh, rusty trombone by Dick Bukaki, and I want sixty five. It's this guy that's, you know, oh my God. 
Bizbaz, good morning. Bizbaz. Hello, lady. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, man, I'm doing fine because I see you. Who is this? I got some remedy jars, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm having trouble understanding yeah. you. Have you been drinking this morning? Yeah, I'm... A little cocoa butter here, you know what I mean? He was drinking cocoa butter. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's been drinking. If only she knew she was talking to the champ, Joe the Frazier. Great George Foreman. No, Joe Frazier. I mean, Frazier. Joe Frazier. What, Bro, are, you what are you doing? Over George there? Foreman. I've never talked to him. Joe Frazier. You better calm down. <laughs> Did you eat anything this weekend? <laughs> hey. This man, hello. How you doing, guys? Good. Good. Hey, I got a 14-year-old young Korean boy. Great. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with him? Stop being an idiot, all right? Find it somebody just, else to bother. It just ruined. Telling Sal to stop being an idiot is impossible. How can he ever stop being an idiot? This is the show for everybody. I bet. He really does. I'm not even Jewish, and I'm feeling all that pain. It's just stupid. Bizbaz, hello. Are you kidding me? Let's stick to Bizbazness, shall we? But we got one clown out there who's who's torturing us this morning. Bizbaz. Robin, remember the first one he had? Bizbaz, hello. With that guy? Who cares? Bizbaz, hello. Ain't no sense in you. <laughs> Ain't no sense in calling here. You're just wasting my time. Ah. Bizbaz, hello. You guys need to get the authorities on these idiots that are calling and ruining the show. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I, it sounds like it's just the same one guy. He's probably got a couple of his buddies and they're using a couple of different phones, but it's, you know, what can you do? Well, it ain't right because you put on a, a good show and you, you, you provide a good service for good people out there and we yeah. appreciate it. Oh, I know you do. I, this is a very rare case. And, and now, Chris, the lady, you ever lay a pussy fart? Oh, oh good. <laughs> <laughs> So, that was for lady. This Baz, good morning. Good morning. How you folks doing this morning? Good, how are you? What can we do for you? I'm doing good, thanks. <laughs> I'm looking for some furniture. Okay. Storage cabinets, TV cabinets, a display cabinet, a file cabinet, an armchair, a dining chair, a guest chair and a rocking chair. What's your name and number? And a swivel chair too. What's your name? Uh, my and name's number? Ethel, and I'm looking for a bed. I what's, need an adjustable bed. What's your phone number, One Ethel? One of the ones that kind of tips up. Ethel, what's your phone or, number? Excuse me. What your is phone your number? phone number? Oh, my phone number is eight nine. We'll see if we can find uh, some furniture. For Thank also you. Real I, we think that was it. Not sure. This Baz, good morning. Confidence. Yeah, good morning. How are you? Good. I do have the file cabinet. I have a storm cabinet. And I do have a TV cabinet. As far as chairs, uh, armchair, I got okay. that. I do have the guest chair. <laughs> it is more than one. Yeah, I'm sure of it now. Somebody's <laughs> playing a real prank on us. Sure of it. We'll be back aboard the Biz Baz bus again tomorrow. Have a great day. Wow. And on that note, we cue the music. Wow. Bizbaz. How does Bizarre Bizarre become Bizbaz? <laughs> I don't know. I want to get in on that. I want to find out all the little terms and terminologies that they use on that show. Let's Bizbaz. keep it to Bizbazness. Yeah. Come on. Oy vey. I'm not even Jewish and I'm saying oy vey. <laughs> and I feel the pain. Yeah. There's the boys. That's their five minute, 32 second opus. Opus. <laughs> Dopus opus. <laughs> I love it. Good job.